how your visit to India has been so far. Are you enjoying it? How have your school visits been? Uh, I'm enjoying it very much in India so far. I've only done two school visits. This is my third. I'm very much looking forward to uh, speaking to students at the British School. Every time I do an event with children, I'm always like amazed at how articulate and imaginative they are in reaction to what I'm talking about. And I, can, I, I get the sense that that will be more than ever at the British School. Hosting radio shows, scripting stand-up TV shows, authoring books, stand-up comedy, you've done it all. What's next on the list? I'm going to write another children's book. Uh, I think it was just announced actually yesterday uh, that I'm writing a new children's book and a graphic novel, which I haven't done before. Um, I'm writing a musical. I'm writing a TV drama, uh, which I also haven't done before. And apart from that, just keeping doing all the other things that I do. The person who wrote Juice Don't Count is the same person who's written nine successful books for children. Mm -hmm. How do you navigate writing for such vastly different audiences? I do write many different things. I create many different things. Uh, I've done films about very serious subjects. So I think that I'm good at one thing, which is telling stories. And sometimes those stories are for children and sometimes they're for adults, but the same skills are involved in each time. So I don't find it that difficult to do that, to change from one to the other, because I just engage with my story sense. Speaking of writing books for children, you were once quoted as telling Guardian that disabled children have been airbrushed out of best-selling fiction for more than a century in order to present an unrealistic version to the world. Any other book that you're working on that's going to be more diverse, more inclusive, that talks about disabled children? Yeah, well, I wrote one book, The Taylor Turbo Chaser, yes. which is about a girl in a wheelchair. Disabled children and their parents have written to me since to say that they really like that book. Uh, they really like the hero of that book being a disabled girl. I'm interested in including children in my stories who are not always seen at the centre of storytelling. So that would include disabled children. Apart from your own stellar work, are there any other book recommendations that um, you can give to our students? Any books that you think they might enjoy? I like David Wallace's work. There's a guy called who. Matt Lucas, who's just written a book about Christmas, which I like, called The Boy Who Slept Through Christmas. There's another guy called Ben Miller, who writes children's books, are all very funny. Personally, I think any comedian who writes a children's book, it's worth reading. Anything for our older students? I'm a big fan of the writer John Updike, who's an American writer from the last century, mainly. He's my favourite writer. I'm presently reading Zadie Smith's On Beauty, and almost anything by George Eliot.